So, this is probably going to be a, uh, this is probably going to be a shorter one since it's actually, it's actually pretty cold right now. Um, I looked at the temperature, it's like, I think it's like 43 degrees right now, and I mean, granted, that's, that's not that cold, but considering I've lived in Texas my whole life, I would consider it to be pretty cold since it's pretty uncommon for it to get like below 50s in this state. But that's, uh, I guess that's kind of besides the point for now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I want to talk about tonight since, uh, I, I, I was trying to think of like, cause. With the, while I, pr I probably said something about how I didn't really know what I was going to talk about going into them, I, I still, like, before I started recording, I, I, I at least, like, I knew, like, some things I was going to say right off the bat, and uh, possibly stuff to potentially talk about, especially... Uh, last night with Splatoon, since I, I I knew going in that I wanted to talk about Splatoon to some extent, you know. So yeah, but honestly, this night, because there there is a few things I could definitely talk about, but like some of them I want to save for later sessions, cause they have to do with things that I hold very near and dear to me. Or, or not, not necessarily just that, but more that I want to build my way up to them and just kind of... Especially one in particular that I, I want... I, I just want to save for later. Um... No real reason why, just kind of, kind of feels better to wait on it a little bit. But yeah, um, I mean, I guess I could just start by talking about my day and how that went. It was a pretty fun day. I had a hangout with a bunch of my friends. You know, we just chilled, played Splatoon. Uh, play, play the Among Us, cause uh, we're a bunch of cringy teenagers who still enjoy playing Among Us. Yeah, but yeah, we did that, and it was funny, cause uh, during the hangout, there were at least three times where like a group would like leave for a period of time to go get something like uh but for some reason like only two of my friends had ate before coming so like a little like only like an hour in we all or a bunch of them just left to go get food from uh Wendy's so yeah, there was there was that. And then a little bit later into the hangout, uh one of my friend or normally one uh one of my best friends, uh, Theo, uh they bring uh they they bring Mario Party superstars and we like we play it together since we find that to be super fun thing is that they forgot it at their house so that was the uh, second time someone left and then the third time uh, was actually me and uh, basically um, as it currently stands uh, I use off-brand pro controllers for playing on the switch uh, because you know with off-brand they're cheaper generally speaking since like a like a on brand pro controller like the good ones cost like 70 bucks 
which I, I still find to be an absolutely absurd price. Like, for, for just a controller. Now, granted, those controllers are good. So, like, it, it's it's kind of a trade-off, you know? But, anyways. The thing about these off-brand controllers is they are... They, being off-brand, have a tendency to just kind of, you know, be shittier products. And that is, that's been made really apparent by uh, the fact that like the the stick on it uh, has this thing where like if I put it at certain angle like push up at certain angles it jitters all over the place um, I, w I would need to like have a visual demonstration to like really uh show it like really explain it well but it's it's not it's not horrible to it's not horrible by any means it's because like it it's not like as bad as like you know joy as drifting since it only happens when uh only happens on occasion but the thing is that, like, I, I really, really don't want it to be doing that, especially when playing stuff like Splatoon, where even something small like that could uh, be really detrimental. And the thing is, recently, I had gotten uh, some, you know, some money and some, um, some gift cards... And I thought to myself, well, you know, this is really annoying. Maybe I should just go to see if I could find, uh, like, a legit pro controller. And, and looking back on it now, I probably should have waited until after the hangout or, like, another day, considering the fact that I did admittedly just leave my friends at my house for, like... 20 30 minutes be and I didn't even I didn't even find it because well I mean it's only a uh, what uh, four days till Christmas uh, as of the time of recording this so I mean I I wouldn't have found it needless to say although I did uh, funnily enough as I as I reached uh, the store, I saw, I saw my band director just walking, and that was a, that was a very interesting encounter, because, like, it, it's one of those things where you, you kind of forget that you live in the same area as these people, and generally speaking, you go to the same places, since, like, since everyone lives so close obviously they go to the places that are close to them but yeah that I, I definitely regret doing that and I'm probably gonna wait till like a couple days after Christmas to try to find one since like the the issue as said before the issue is like minor enough to where like it's fine for now, and like, it's it's annoying, but it's taught me that I probably shouldn't be uh, just buying off-brand controllers, because like, the real thing is, you know, most of the time, more well put together, you know? So there was that, but anyways, after I got back and we, well, I, I was first watching uh, my friends uh, play a game of Mario Party, and then I joined in for the uh, second Mario Party game, and it was, it, it was crazy to say the least, because like, for most of the game, 
I was in a very dominant position because uh, my other friends playing uh, just completely missed out on booze the entire game. Meanwhile, I was able to just collect... I was able to collect five stars, like, pretty early on, generally speaking. And one of them was from a chance time. And because... A uh, little fun fact about chance time, if you mash A at the start, you're guaranteed to uh, get a star trade. So I use that to steal uh, the star that uh, Freddy got because uh, F uh, Freddy, Theo, and another of my friends, Milos, were playing this game. So no joke for like, uh, almost half the game, uh, Freddy and Theo were kind of trying to form a coalition against me. And, like, it... For most of the game, it didn't work out. But in the, like, last couple turns, they were able to get four stars. Or, yeah, they, they both got four stars, meaning they were very close to me. But the thing is, I knew I had a couple bonus stars locked down and all I needed was one bonus star to guarantee a win because I had more coins than Freddy did and he was he was like the only one who really had a chance of beating me at that point because like Theo didn't really have any bonus stars to their name you know and then Milos Milos really wasn't in any contention for various reasons. Uh, well, namely because they they were not paying attention for half the game. Which I find funny. But I was... Needless to say, I was very confident in my win. So I decided for the last, like, two turns of the game to just blast uh, Fly Octo Fly, my absolute favorite Splatoon track, just in my headphones like three or four times. <laughs> Meanwhile, Freddy and Theo were just talking about ways to beat me, which I find hilarious. Um, but yeah, that was... That was a lot of fun, to say the least, and yeah. So, but the thing is, as we got to bonus stars, Freddy got both of them, and like they were two of the only ones he could get. And <laughs> I mean, my... I was still, I was still just having a blast, and Fly Octa Fly was still blasting in my ears, so I, I was still in a good mood. But it does, it's, it's definitely humbling to see, to see just something like that happen, you know. <sighs> yeah. Today was pretty fun. Uh. And. I mean, it's never not fun to just hang out with friends, just having a blast, just doing dumb shit. <laughs> oh, I, I <laughs> okay, I just remembered. <laughs> uh, so it wasn't at this hangout; it was at our previous hangout, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, we were. We, we were doing our normal stuff, playing random games, uh, and at one point, uh, we just decided to just start putting on random songs that we remember, and just, yeah, just blast them in the room we were in, and at one point, we just started playing living tombstone songs, uh, in particular the FNAF songs. Because, you know, those, I'm fairly certain, like, a lot of people's childhoods were made up of listening to those songs on repeat, including mine. And the funny thing is, 
my dad was in the room right next to us doing some work or something like that. And at one point, we were playing uh, the the song, I Hope You Die in a Fire, you know, the, uh, I think it was the FNAF 3 Living, to- it was either the FNAF 3 or FNAF 4 Living Tombstone song, I think it was FNAF 3, but after the song finished, my dad walked into the room and just started asking, hey, like, so, uh, something along the lines of, hey, uh, that I Hope You Die in a Fire song, uh, Who's it made by? It, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> and just the thought of my of my 52-year-old dad walking into the room to ask about FNAF songs. And it, it was it, it was it was such a funny moment and like just seeing you know, because, like, obviously because of the age gap between me and my dad, we, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, properly, you know, relate to, uh, relate with each other, because, you know, obviously, w- raised in different times and stuff like that. He, he He's a great guy for the most part, although... He is a self-proclaimed asshole, and that that can shine through. Or is that the right term? I don't think that's the right term, but it it definitely shows occasionally. But he he's still a great guy. But I mean, one of the things that has always connected us is music, and just like cause. Yeah, you know, my my dad's one of those guys who, you know, is always a sucker for a good song, and like he, I would be lying if I ha- said that he uh, he hasn't uh, influenced my uh, song preferences, and you know he it, he's introduced me to you know some. Some of my favorite songs and bands, so and just to just to kind of do the same thing for him, even if it was even if it's through a FNAF song. I mean, that will never not. It's it's hilarious, but also I I find it to be very very heartwarming because it's you know just another way to interact with you know my dad yeah so yeah that's i think that's about it in terms of that whole thing um what else to talk about um uh I guess I, could, I, I guess I could talk about my dog. Yeah. I mean, I've had a dog for... I mean, I've had a dog in some way for pretty much my whole life. Because uh, back when I was a baby... Like, but uh, before I was born, uh, my, my family had a dog named Simon. And Simon was around for the first couple years of my life. I think... I think he, I want to say he died in 09, I want to say. So, like, I only knew him for four years of my life. He was, uh, you know, average-sized, I want to say retriever. I I don't know dog breeds that well. Um, So, I, 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 I don't, I would have to ask, like, my parents or one of my sisters, uh, what breed he was, but he was, from the little I remember of him, he was, he was nice, and I, I wish I had more memories with him, because, like, I only have, like, 
two or three memories that like come to mind when it comes to him. And it's been so long and yeah. I'm not even sure which memories are actual memories at this point. But I mean in 2010 um in 2010 uh I believe it was in I want it was like it was our March or May. Uh my, uh, I think it was my, uh, my, the youngest of my sisters, and all my sisters are older than me. So, when I say youngest sister, uh, that means she is still older than me. By a good couple years. But, uh, my, my youngest sister came home, uh, with a, or I think it was multiple of my sisters, thinking about it now. Uh, came home with this brand new puppy named Sadie. And Sadie has been our dog ever since. She's 12 years old and she's actually standing right next to me. Uh, you may have heard like some little jangling noises and some of the recordings and that's that's been Sadie. She's... But, I mean, she's she's been with me pretty much all my life. I mean, I mean obviously that's not true because she she wasn't around for like the first five years. But she's she's been around for most of it, and I mean, I, I love her. She's always been nice company. Obviously, with her being getting older, she's sometimes is a I don't want to say annoying because at the end of the day, she's just doing what we've taught her and kind of what we've conditioned her to think. Because especially back, uh, basically like back, especially during you know the pandemic. Uh. Because me and my me and my family, you know, spent most of our time in the house, along with Sadie. Uh, we we would very frequently give her scraps of food. I'm sorry, is that a fucking firework? Why the fuck? Oh, hold on a second. Why the? I swear to God. Sorry, I, I think I heard. I think I heard a fucking firework go off and. Okay, I gotta say, that genuinely makes me pissed anytime that happens. Because, like, like I, okay, I get setting off fireworks in, like, you know, like, 4th of the July, I guess, or New Year's. Because, like, at the very least, that's expected. But then, occasionally, I'll just hear people set off fireworks at random-ass points in the year. And I fucking hate it so much. Because, like, it... <laughs> Not only does it wake up people who are just trying to sleep, but it also scares dogs. And like, God, just, I hate them. Just, sorry, I, sorry, I, where was I? Um, what was I even talking about? Uh, oh yeah, Sadie. Um, what was I even, oh yeah. But yeah, we would give her food a lot. And like, especially my dad, because my dad used to be a chef. So he does a lot of cooking. And he'll a lot of time drop scraps for Sadie. Or just give her a decent amount of food. And so she's come to expect us anytime we have food to give her some and most of the time we do end up giving her some and so it is our fault and we we, we don't really have a reason to be annoyed about it because it is our fault but yeah i neil say i love sadie a lot and She's 
I, I, sometimes I think about the fact that she is very much a old girl and dogs, generally speaking, live like at most like 15 to 20 years and she is, she's 12 right now, so... It's it sucks thinking about the fact that she's she's probably in the last couple of years of her life, but I mean with that being said, like I know as long as she lives she'll love and she'll love me and my family. And at the end of the day, that's, that will make me at least feel happy, you know? Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's about it for talking about my dog. Um, yeah. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Um, honestly, I think, yeah, it's, it's starting to get a bit too cold for me and my, my toes are starting to, my, my toes are starting to hurt a little. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all for tonight. I think this was shorter than my other two so far, but that's fine. These, I don't really have a specific length I'm looking for for these. I just want to talk. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, my name is Shani, or Joseph, doesn't really matter which one you use, and uh, that's about it. Um, see you next time, whether that is tomorrow, a week from now, or God knows how long from now. Only time will tell. Bye.